Uh, roll. And get in there, get in there. Pin him against his fog wall. Quick, pin him where there's some fog in the way. Hey everybody, and welcome back to the night. Midnight here, back for another episode of Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, episode 49. And last episode, we actually tried to kill like the giant souls guys, which was freaking awesome. We actually were able to kill them, which is awesome news. And uh, you might be wondering, I've got 580,000 souls to spend, which is pretty good news as well. So I've been farming a little bit, just been helping out some sunbros. So we've actually got a few little souls to spend, which I'm going to spend first. But first things first, guys, that we're actually going to show you over here. I think there's a thing. Could we kill the giant sword? I can talk to this guy for a potentially a decent weapon. So we're going to go back over here. So I just thought I'd show you from the bonfire. Just to give you little guys a little bit of a hand. And what's this guy doing? I've got no idea. Let's just backstab him. Oh yeah. So, can't believe we've got so many souls to spend. So I think we're going to level up quite a few times, hopefully. Um, I don't even know what points to put into, if I'm honest. It, it's a hard decision. I'm going to go for a parry on this guy. Here we go. Let's go for a parry on this guy. So we can get a parry off. Oh god. I'm going to go for a parry. If I don't... Oh god, break him. Nope. I oh, know he's poisoned. I'm just gonna let him, let, him, let, him, let him burn. Oh yeah. See you, my friend. Sweet. So I think this was the guy I need to talk to up here. I think you get a certain weapon after you kill the giant lord soul. Uh, so where is he? He's up, up these top of these like cool ass stairs. Which I've got no idea why they both do the same thing. But all right then. Uh, I'll talk to you, my friend. Hello there. Welcome. Our guests are treated with them. Tell me. I want to talk to you there. Okay. So let me talk to you once again. See if anything we get. Yep, I did slay that thing. Slay that behemoth? I did indeed. The king of giants, baby. Incredible. Babe. Now, take these. Well, what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. We have a Asparo Repero, a Royal Dirk, a Luen armor, gloves and shoes. Wow, pretty decent little set of armor that we just picked up. The king I'm just going to spam talk, see if there's anything I can talk to. Just nope. That's pretty good news then, guys. We actually got some decent stuff out of that. And he sells a lot of freaking cool weapons and like... Quite unique weapons in that respect as well. Transgressor's staff as well, that's quite a cool one. Uh, uh, Bracing Knuckle Ring, nothing really I want there. Uh, he sells actually lightning arrows, magic arrows as well, permanently, which is quite a cool little thing as well. Uh, nothing I want from that one, and Great Magic Barrier. Okay then, my friend, thank Bonsons. you for that. Be safe, buddy. So let's have a look at these two weapons we picked up. We picked up the Royal Dirk, the Llewellyn armor set as well. Uh, let me check out this thing. Hey, that looks quite a cool little armor set there, that does. Might be some fashion soulsy. Let me just put the whole set on and see what this looks like. Uh, what Llewellyn set? Yep, there we go. This looks quite a cool little set actually. I'm up to 36%. I wonder how that is to my compared to my other one. Quite like the cape. It's got rocking on there, guys. But let's have a look at this one. I was wearing Agdanes at the moment, wasn't I? So Agdanes was Agdanes black robe. So there we go. So what if I what is actually on the? So it's actually a lot better, but the weight is uh, insanely high. So I might even tempted to wear that. I quite like that actually. Um, hard to say. Let's let's tell you what. Let's stick with this for a t t for the time being. And if we spot like a good little fashion soul thing, what we can rock on, that will then we'll change it off. So we need to put that back on. So I think it was Agdane's cuffs, and then it was the rogue leggings. I think it was sweet. So we're back up to that. Thirty three percent on that. Let's roll out then. And I don't think there's anything up here now. Presuming there's not. Nope, nothing going on in there. Whatever. Thought there was some kind of like room or something you could talk to. Maybe with, to do with the Queen or something, but I guess she's not around anymore. So I reckon let's go and spend our souls. 580,000 to spend. I don't know how much we're actually going to spend there, guys. I mean, we've actually got quite a few souls rocking around as well, like with uh, the uh, lot of like giant and boss souls kind of got going on. So it's, it's almost like I should either spend them or even find a weapon that we should use. So maybe even. We haven't actually unlocked Strayed yet as well. So here's another guy. I'm going to actually show you guys Strayed as well. So, Servant's Quarters, let's go here. A bit of risky running at 580,000 souls around, but oh well. Basically, there's another guy you can talk to, to trade boss souls with. Uh, and he will be pretty awesome to find out as well. So let's go and actually unlock him a bit later in the episode. Though, episode number 49, and we haven't even opened, even unlocked straight yet. But I think we were just probably waiting for a Freddy Bunch of Yore, and he didn't really turn around at the same time. Uh, and then I think it was up here. But let's just try and be a little bit cautious. And don't die on the way. Because I don't want to lose all my souls. Uh, where's he go up here? He's about to flank me. No? Okay, then that's fine. I mean, my friend. And I actually forgot which way to go. I think it might have been this way and then over the bridge. Let's go this way then and see what we can find out. Is there anything down here? Oh, this fucking guy here is about to fucking flank me. I didn't see you coming, my friend. Well, yeah, we got actually got that. It's about a repair on the dirt, didn't we? We didn't, I forgot about to check those. What an idiot. 
So we've got a Royal Dirk and an Espada Rapero. I think there's some kind of Spanish, some kind of Spanish swordy thingy. So the Royal Dirk. Let's have a look at this thing. Uh, that's pretty cool. Is it like a quite a long sword? That is. Let's have a look at this thing. Uh, can I? Is it my actual weapon? There it is. The weapon. Yeah, that's quite cool. It's quite like a like a long dagger. Uh, I don't think I've got I've got the requirements to use it. Yeah, quite a cool little dagger then. Quite a long one as well. And then I got the Aspado Repairer, right? Was that the one I got? It's quite a weird name to keep saying that, I know. Uh, where was the Aspado Repairer? Oh god, freaking guy here as well. Hello my friend, let's see if this Royal Dirk actually works even good. Yep, pretty good that Royal Dirk is, sweet. So we got a little bit of a try run with the Royal Dirk. And then let's find this other one. Where are you at? Where are you at? Skin, Pole, Dark Drift, Poison, Rapiers, and Espada Repero. Wow. Okay, it's got 11 in strength, but an 18 6 skeleton in, in strength. So I don't, can't actually wield it with the stats that I've got. But uh, 117 pure pace and 140 counter damage is quite cool, actually. I might be even contemplating swapping that off for my other rapier. It might be a bit better. Let me just compare the stats. Uh, poison Rapier. So it, obviously it's a plus 10, so it's a lot better. But the... I think I might go for this, you know, because the scaling is lower because it's a C grade because obviously I put a poison thing on it, but I could even put a poison stone on this. So let's put the rapiers back on. I'm even tempted to upgrade that thing, guys. So we got the rapiers back on. And hopefully we don't get flanked in the process. No, I've already picked the line them up. So let's go this way and up the jump this thing. Oh, yeah. Let's go and open Strayed, my friend, up. He's been stuck in that stone for too, way too long. And we need to open his, open his help, help him out and get that guy around the back. Uh, this door's been open, sweet. Oh god, there's a lot of them around. Freaking hell, there's a lot of them around. Panic, ignite, panic, 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 panic. There we go. Oh, there we go. I was brave enough to not do that. Thank you, sweet. That one's down as well. So I'm just going to rock through these. I'm not even going to smash any of these pots. No point risking it. Oh, there's an item there. I missed completely. Oh no, can't even get to the item. That's probably why I missed it. What the hell ever. And I've got a full quiver of poison arrows as well, which I've Got all last episode as well. Last episode as well, guys. I kind of like just upgraded loads just to uh, help me out. Go through them like no tomorrow though. It do seem like though with me farming off off camera, I kind of felt like uh, I'm, I might have been away from everyone else, or or my soul memory's way too high. It's hard to say really, but uh, I didn't really get that many summons in, so I didn't actually get that many summon line medals. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, it must have been either my soul memory must be too high to see people. I mean, I'm only, I'm only on what am I actually on now? 2.3 mil. It's not really that much compared to a lot of people. So, here we go. Here's Mr. Stray. Let's examine. Use a fragrant bunch of your... You are welcome, Straydy. Freed you once again. Out of this stone thing. He's got some pretty sweet ass armor on, I have to say. Hello there, my friend. I might rest the... Sorry, light bonfire up. And then talk to him. Let me talk. Let's baby up bonfire. Lit. That's the last one in Lost by Steel Dome. Okay, talk to you. Still a bit stiff, I'm afraid. <laughs> I must thank you, young You're Tom. welcome. I am strayed. A wandering sorcerer. A wandering sorcerer. sorcerer. Okay. sorcerer. That's a pretty cool as voice actor this guy, I reckon. I've been a guest for a very long time. But I don't think that anybody will miss me. <laughs> Okay, let's keep talking, I guess. Very good. Very good indeed. Cursed one, What's very good? weak you may be, but I, strength, will teach you my spells. Okay, sweet. So uh, that might have been like a little bit of a, like a stat ch choice to see if I would actually be able to talk to him like with uh, like my intelligence and faith and stuff. So let's just keep spamming to all. Long enough. Uh, is that very... The curse not really much I can get off that, whatever. I'm just going to spam to all to him. So now I can actually trade, learn gesture, why not mock gesture, fair enough for that. And I can actually buy some items from him. He sells the Hood of the Forlorn, wow, the Forlorn armor set. Check that beast out, man. That's pretty cool, man. I didn't realize I actually get the Hood of the Forlorn. I might even be contemplating like wearing that, like hood and stuff. I might think about that for another episode, though. Uh, here we go, Ring of Intelligence, the Agape Ring, Lingering Dragon Quest Ring. That's pretty cool, though. And then the Rogue Water, and then he actually sells a lot of spells and stuff, which is pretty damn cool. Sunlight Blade as well, wow, he sells Sunlight Blade for that, that's insane, I don't think he could sell that. Uh, nothing else pretty much I'm going for. So let's have a look at the trade, what we can actually trade for him. Got Mythius Bent Blade, which is a dagger, 
Uh, the Smelter Sword for the Smelter Demon's Soul, the Pursuer's Ultra Great Sword for the Soul of the Pursuer, the Warp Sword for the Flexile Sentry Soul, the Arc Sword for the Flexile Sentry Soul as well, the Giant Stone Axe for the Soul of the Last Giant, uh, the Barb Plug for the Flexile Sentry Soul. These are pretty much two heavy weapons for me so far. The Gargoyle Biden is a spear. Therefore, Belfry Gargoyle Soul. We need 22 in strength though to wield that thing. Dragon Rider's Halberd, pretty cool. The Roaring Halberd as well for the Skeleton Lord's Soul and the Bone Scythe. For the Covetous Demon, Jarrett Lance, Dragon Rider Twin Blade, the Spotted Whip. Uh, that's pretty cool actually, but it's got quite an insane poison damage on, but whips aren't really my thing at the moment. Dragon Rider Bow, Shield Crossbow, Pursuer's Great Shield, and the Dragon Rider Great Shield. Okay, not really that useful. And it actually sells some more spells, okay, so I can actually swap spells for him. Uh, Soul Shower, Sacred Oath for Soul of Vel stat is pretty useful. So that's quite a useful perk, that Soul of Vel stat for that. I might actually save that. Sacred Oath is definitely a cool ass perk. An acid search for the pyromancy and repel the hex. Use giant soul, giant lord soul. Okay, repel. What does this do? Uh, for a brief moment, no damage can be inflicted. That's pretty damn insane stat requirement just to read no damage can be reflected. It must be quite good then, I guess. Okay then, so not really that useful. Got quite a few souls to spend there, guys. So let's go back to Medulla finally and actually spend our souls. So it might be even tempted to buy like that forlorn armor set just as a bit of fashion soul, just to see what it looks like really. So I might do that at some point. And picking up like that Llewellyn stuff as well from the other episode. Sorry, from the that guy at King's Castle looks quite a cool armor set as well. But uh, things at the moment, I'm just hitting over 33%. So I'd rather like to put my vitality up a little bit and get under 30%. Uh, so then I can actually wield this armor like effectively really. So is it worth upgrading the Espada Repero? To a, plus to a plus 10. Let me just see what it needs to repair. Uh, let me have a reinforce. Reinforce with you, my friend. The Aspado Repero is what I want to repair. Because I wonder if it's actually. Let me have a check actually. To buy the item, the standard rapier is a 115 in base damage. Okay, so. Um, what was the scaling on it, sorry? The scaling was a uh, 12 and 5. Sorry, a DB. Okay, that's fine then. So if I reinforce the. Spanish swordy thingy. If I could find it, it's probably not even Spanish, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just sounds Spanish, whatever. Uh, where the hell is this thing? The washing bowl, bless the uh, mailbag, the Espada Repair. So it's E and A. So it's an A scaling already in strength. And you'd actually need Titanite Shards to upgrade it. Wow. Okay, so I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for this then, I think. Because Titanite Shards, it's not like I need 200 Titanite or something for it. Let me just upgrade this then, see what this thing's like. Espada Repair plus one, plus two. And uh, that's all my shards gone. And. Large Titanite Shards as well. Now I'm costing three Titanite Shards for a plus three. Yeah, this is definitely better. It's already going up a lot more than the other one was. A Titanite Chunk to make it to a plus uh, six. Sorry, to a plus seven. I actually need more Titanite Chunks now, which I haven't got any, which unfortunately. But that's be definitely around. better than the one I've actually got. So I need to either farm them or hopefully well. buy them from this woman if she's got any to offer. Uh, she doesn't sell any Chunks. Oh, she does sell Chunks. She sells seven more, so I need another... I think I need another five, right? Another five for thirty thousand souls. Wow, it's pretty insane. How expensive that is. And I love how much she like sells like petrified dragon bones, Swift and Titanites, all really good stuff. Visit me again. Uh, so let's go and actually, what? hopefully, we'll be able to max this thing now. Reinforce the sword again. There it is. Espada Repair Titanite Junk. There we go. And three for that one to a plus eight, and then a slab to a plus ten. Wow. Awesome news that. Around. So I've already got a plus ten version of that weapon. Not really trying it out though, to be fair. And I need to remember to put one more point into strength to wield. Sorry, I think a few more points to put into strength. So that's insane. So it does a lot more damage than the one I've got. That really is insane. Uh, but I need to have obviously a point into strength, and I wonder if I can actually infuse it. Okay, so we're back with McDuffie. So uh, let's see flare. if we can actually re sorry infuse this uh, rapier with a. Poison stone, so it's already a plus A in, in uh, dexterity, which is quite cool for me. But obviously, if I put a poison stone on it, it's knocking it down to a B, which is a bit unfortunate. And do I need the poison? Really, quite a difficult decision, really. But I quite like the poison, I think it's quite a cool little thing. So let, I'm gonna go for it, put the poison stone on. I can always take it off as well. So, poison stone on poison espada repairer is on a B scaling now, which is not as bad as a C scaling on the other one. But I actually need to have one more point into strength, I think, to actually wield this thing. Nope, two more points into strength. So two more points into strength to wield this thing. So let's go back. Okay, so we are here. Let's do some leveling up. There okay. Until. So I need to put two points into 
Strength to wield the Espada Repairs. So let's just confirm that. Boom, straight off the bat. 100 level 22. So now I can wield those babies. And I do also remember I actually need to probably put some more points in strength to actually power stance this thing, right? Damn it. Yeah, I do. So that's a little bit unfortunate. So I need to find out what power stance I need to go. So if it's just, if it's 11, I think you need to halve it. So it needs another 6 points into strength. A bit unfortunate on that one. So just to wield this thing, but I guess it's better than nothing. So let's level up, and I don't really know how far you need to go for this to actually count as a power stand. So let's go up to so half of 11, so probably like five, so like six, I guess. So maybe put up to 15, 16. Let's go to 15. See if this this, this uh, power stance is it. Why not? 15 on that, uh, and then see if this power stance is please power stance. Nope, done power stance. Okay, so I need to probably put another pep weapon into it, which is there fine. Until. Bit of a weird episode, I know. My bad. Uh, and trick, trick, sixteen should be it. Should be good enough. Should should be what the hell the night should be good enough. Uh, and then let me try this power stance, please. Yeah, there we go. Power stancing. Awesome news. So we got a Espado Repero and a Rapier plus ten. They're two awesome weapons, and that's actually a pretty decent sword as well. Uh, it goes up by two more points, but the scaling is a little bit higher, which is fine with me. And I could always take the the uh, poison zone off as well if I wasn't going for poison build anymore. So I've got 40, 400,000 souls spent. Until so why not let's level up a bit for a few more points. So I reckon a, another point into Vigor, one more point into Endurance and then we're quite happy with that. 108 Agility at the moment so I would like to maybe hit up to 110 Agility. There we go, 38 Agility. Uh, and then I've got a few more souls to spend. So maybe put a couple more points into Vitality. Uh, just to get my uh, weight ratio up. Let's go to 60 points then. Let's go up to 15 in, in my vitality just to get me a little bit more. So I'm spending a lot of souls here. This is ace. This is. And then I wanted to go into some sunlight blades or sacred oaks, really, didn't I? So maybe go one more, two more points into dexterity just to get me a bit more damage. And then put the rest of it into faith, I reckon. So 16 in faith. Yep, that's pretty cool then. I think that's quite cool. I've got one more point to spend. Sorry, 15 in faith. I might put it into faith just to get it up one more. I kind of want to go for like Sacred Oath, Sunlight Blade. That's what I kind of want to might go for. Um, and I think that's all I can go for. Uh, yep, let's go for one more point into that. Why not? And spend them. There we go. 380,000 souls spend. Oh god, it better be a good level up. It better be a bloody good level up. So what are we on? We're on 60 point weight limit. So I'm just, just under the uh, weight limit right now, which is a bit of a shame. I could always like ditch something to maybe make it just under. So I wonder if I could maybe change this to 28%. They look a bit fashion soulsy though. I kind of like the fashion soulsy. Uh, I can't, I can't, screw it. Let's just keep with this and I'll try and have a think about it sometime. Whatever. But we are good to go. So the question is then guys, what do we actually want to do in this episode? So I think we need to do a few of the Abyss Covenant places to do because we haven't actually done them yet. So let's go to the first one. I think the first one was at the good. No, it wasn't at the good. It was at the Black Gulch. Hidden Chamber was the first one, I believe. So let's go to this place. So I think we're pretty much like rocking nearly the end of the game, then, guys. We've also got the DLCs to still do, which I think I might do after the uh, after I complete the game. It's hard to say, really. I think the uh, the, the game, the enemies are quite are significantly harder, so it might be just easier to just do that. So let's go this way. Quite happy to like try out my new rapiers as well. I'm just going to run past these guys because I can't be asked to fight every of them. Uh, and then go down here. And here we go. I've already talked to this guy. So let's go here. Hello, my, my friend. Where the hell are you? Has he disappeared? Oh god, he's gone out of the middle of nowhere. I thought you were supposed to be down here so I could. What the fuck's going on up there? Oh god! Oh Jesus Christ, get out the hell out of my face! Yep, you fell off. Can you fall off? Yes, thank you. You fell off. Man, what the hell? Okay, this guy's like smegged off. Um. What the hell do I have to do? Okay, fair enough. So let's just go back then, guys. And try and find another one. Fine, sorry. Here we go then, guys. I just joined the Pilgrims of the Dark Covenant. So we're now we've got the Abyss Seal. And hopefully this thing will actually be able to join it. We're actually underneath, beneath Castle Dranelag is where we actually are. Which is awesome news. There you go. Pilgrims of the Dark. So do a bit more of the Abyss Covenant. Why the hell not? Uh, sweet, so we got the. Let's just spam talk to him, what the hell ever. And I wonder what I actually can buy off him as well. We got the human effigy, bonfire aesthetic, wow, it says 10 aesthetics. 
Dark Orbs, Hails, Storms, Profound Still as well. They're pretty cool. Uh, and then I've got the Covenant to talk to. So let's let's actually... I've already blown this Covenant. Let's actually go battling, guys. And way. go to the first one I was going to, which was the Gooder. So this was actually under Central Castle Dran Lake. Basically where the near the Ruined Sentinels are. Uh, and I have to obviously join the Covenant to actually open the Abyss Covenant. <laughs> it's pretty obvious midnight instead of just walking around hoping they actually open. What a dumb ass. So here we go. So that's Covenant's open. So let's go back to the Brightstone. Uh, Brightstone? No, we're actually in the Gooder Army. Gooder Hidden Chamber. And let's try and get this a bit. This Abyss Covenant done. So I'm quite happy with this like rapier setup that I've got going on then. I don't know which one's better to have in each hand really. So I'll, I'll just check on my counter damage of that while I'm here actually. The counter damage on that one is 140. And that one is a 140 as well. So it doesn't really make any difference. That's quite fine with me then. So it doesn't make a difference with that one. Hopefully I've done the right thing by making this a better weapon. I think I have. It's got to be on it, really. It's got. To, it's, a, it's a weapon that the guy gave you. Let's just drop down here then. And should be here, hopefully. Yep, he's here. Thank God for that. I thought this would be not even here. Please open this door. Open the door now, please. I have to give him effigy, aren't I? So give an effigy. Yep, give human effigy for that one. I don't know probably why I didn't do it to the other one as well, but oh well. I don't know why I didn't do them in order. I think this is like what I thought they were in order anyway. So, Okay, so here we go. We're in the Abyss Covenant. I'm gonna do this first portal thingy. I think I've got all the weapons that I've got set up. What the fuck's going on outside? Jesus Christ. I think I've got all the things I've got set up. I've got my poison arrows. I don't have to do any stone ring as well. It's a pretty decent thing. Okay, so here we go. Let's touch this baby. So we're actually going into the first abyss. Oh god. Into the darkness. And let's try out my new weapon as well. So it should be pretty cool as well. That royal dirk is well, quite a cool little weapon as well. Here we go. Dark chasm of old. And I'm like a weird dark phantom thingy. Pretty cool though. In the abyss covenant. So let's just take it a little bit cautious. And there's lots of blood stains around here. Read message. Good luck. Thank you for that my friend. Be wary of fire. Okay. Just blood pool. Let's see what the hell these guys are doing. Are these guys like all fighting the same bloody enemy, and they all got killed? <laughs> oh god. Okay, so that's a little bit scary. So I've got to pay attention. I want to draw my bow actually for a little bit of range damage. And there's a guy there with two hammers. Two hammers inbound. Fucking hell. Oh god. Pro shot. Yeah, got him. Pro shot. Try and give him the pro shot. Poison arrow thingy. Try to poison him. Uh, I think I've got poison on. He's just standing there. Oh god, there's freaking gun the guy. Can I get poison shot off this bitch? No, I can't. Damn it. Okay, here we go. We have to watch those freaking hell. Those big ass hammer swing. Oh wow. Jesus Christ, big ass turtle guy with a hammer. Oh my god. He's insane, this guy. Can I poison this guy? Okay, that guy's poison. That guy's poison. Just gotta leave him alone now. Leave him to rock on poison. And uh, let's get some stagger damage on him. Because I've got that stone ring. Let's actually get some stagger damage. I'm not doing too bad at the moment. I'm gonna back off. Pop a few more arrows in this bitch ass. Big ass turtle guy though with two hammers. My god. Because it was not like power system. Whoa! Big ass fireball. My god, man. I'm getting nailed here. Okay, here we go. This is where he is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, get in there, midnight. Get in there, midnight. Wow, he got some serious health, man. You got some serious health. I'm going to get fucked over by this. Get out of here, midnight. Run. Heal me. Double chug it. Fuck it. I'm double chugging it and kicking this guy's ass. Okay, roll out of the way. Oh, God. Stab him. Stab this guy. Stab this guy, please. Wow, what the fuck happened? What the fuck happened, man? Oh my god. Kill this guy. Thank you. Okay, this guy's down. This is getting insane. Heal me on this one. This guy's the next one. This guy's next. You're freaking next, my friend. You are next. Get back here. Oh, wow. Fireball in the face. Come on, man. Give me, let me at him. Let me at him. Let me freaking at him. Whoa. Okay. See if I can get poison stones on him. If I can get some poison on him, that'd be great. Oh, wow. Give me some damn stagger damage, man. Give me some damn poison damage. Okay, let me guess. I think I've got poison on him. I think I've got poison on him. Yep, I've got poison on him. Sweet, so I'm going to back off. Oh, no fireballs for you, my friend. Heal on that one. There we go. Sweet, I'm not doing too bad at the moment. And get in there again. Got full stamina, so I've pinned him against the corner. You ain't going nowhere, douche. You ain't going bloody nowhere. Oh, yeah, wrecking your face off. I can stagger through that as well. That's the stone ring for you. Uh, I'm just going to lay poison to death. Feel a final kill. Get in. So you died as well. That's awesome news there. Man, that was pretty insane. Those two hammer guys just nailed you. Uh, and you've got to get round that, like, insane quickly. So here we go. Back through this area. And there's a guy there. Okay, that's an enemy. That is a freaking enemy. Well, wow, a guy with, like, blue armor. Pretty cool. See if we can pop this guy right on top of the head. Bam! You didn't like that one, did you, bitch? 
Weird ass tree beard thingy. Let's just own this guy. Okay, you're poisoned. Wow, I'm loving the poison at the moment. Just like, just in four hours and you're poisoned. That haunted black boy just pops it up quick, man. And he's already dead because of it. That's fine by me, though. Uh, let's just try and find out which way to go. Two ways to go, it looks like. Bit of a shame that I had to actually put points into strength, though, guys, just to power stance these two things. But quite cool, though. Quite. If I had, like, another soul, maybe if I popped, like, another aesthetic. Got that giant lord soul, I could get two as better repairs. That'd be quite cool. I would never thought about doing that. But I suppose you like kind of like losing the rapier plus tens. But that counter damage though, man, just insane. As well as that stone ring stagger damage. Okay, so here we go. What's this thing here? Uh, try therefore try her right. Visions of hole. Yep, there's damn right. There's bloody hole there. Bloody hell. There's a giant ass hole there. Okay, so here we go. What's this thing up here? Uh, read message. Try torch. Okay, so that thing it looks like I have to light, I presume. So let me just pop on a flame butterfly. Thank God, flame butterflies. Eh? Otherwise, you'd have to wear a torch the entire time. Bam! Let's light this thing up. Set light. So there we go. So I think that's kind of like marks it now so that the thing's done. And pop my torch away. Probably could just set a flame butterfly when you need one again. That's fine by me. Don't know how many I actually have to light. More than one, I presume. Or just, just one per area. I know there's like three abyss places to go, though. Um, and then which way do you go through here? Is it this way? Yep. Yeah. Down here. Uh, that's the way I came from, so then it's through this way. Got to keep my wits about me though, midnight, because I don't want to be any big ass hammer guys nailing me again. Okay, here we go, more blood stains. And there's a guy there, it looks like another bloody hammer guy. Speaking of hammer guys, there's one from there. Okay, so let me just try and get in there and try and get a poison arrow right on the way. Here we go, poison arrows, just, just, just rack up those arrows like insane amounts. I'm just going to try and block through his attack and just stagger him. He's just going to stand there and take it. And stand there and take that poison, my friend. That's fine by me. I'm just going to fire poison arrows at you. And you can't do shit about it. What the hell's this guy doing? I've got no idea. That's fine by me, my friend. I'm just going to leave you. Let's see if I can just bait him into attack. What the hell ever, my friend. Just leave you to die. Look how much health he's got. Over 2,938. Wow. And I took a bit of a blow then. Ouch. Okay. Hestus me up. Ooh, I can hear what we've got. Oh, they bonfire aesthetic. Fair enough. They actually dropped bonfire aesthetic. That's pretty cool. Okay, there's a guy there and a guy there. So let's take these guys out. Try and take the bow guy out first. Sorry, the mage guy out first. Because he's going to be the warring one. And that's a soul spear thing there. Sorry, soul arrow. You're poisoned. You don't do any fucking shit when you're poisoned, my friend. So I'm going to leave you to die. There's one more to go. I think there's a fog wall there. So I'm going to go for this guy now. Fireball guy inbound. Okay, dodge that fireball midnight. And get for the stagger damage. Go for the stagger poison damage build thingy. And uh, there we go. So he gets three stabs. Three double stab thingies. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 What the fuck happened then? Did he just do nothing? Uh, roll. And get in there. Get in there. Pogger. Pin him against his fog wall. You ain't going nowhere. There's some fog in the way. And you can't do anything about it. Oh, yeah. So let me just try and see if I can... I think my stamina regens quicker than he can fire a fireball. So I can just keep doing this. And then back off. And there we go. You're down, my friend. Sweet. And what have we got here? Another bonfire aesthetic. Wow, we're getting some few, a few aesthetics off this. This is quite a cool little vibe then. And that's where we came from. And here we go through this way. That's the fog wall like cleared up now, so I think is that the way to go, I guess? Sweet. Okay, read message. Try close range battle. What do you mean try close range battle? I'm going to a, some area. That was quite cool then. So I actually went through the first area. I think that was the first abyss done. That's pretty pretty sweet ass like abyss covenants I always think. Uh, and you have to kill all the enemies and light that torch, I presume, to actually get it into to achieving like there we go, achieving a rank in the covenant, which is awesome Young news. Undead. The dark beset upon you runs deeper than I had imagined. Let us see just how much dark you can endure. You have seen dark that has existed from times long past. What once was a great void of darkness became but fragments. But slowly, the scattered fragments grew absorbing all things okay it is we who will be pilgrims to these sacred sites a resident soul fair enough for them my friend so nothing i can do with that uh he just basically sells that resident soul which is quite a cool little hex the there so we've got number one done so let's go and hit number two i think that we have to use an age feather just to get out of this place though I uh, got some stall to spend as well, and I'm still human, which is awesome news. Got two aesthetics as well from that little, like, kind of like farmed it really. Um, 
But those hammer guys, man, yeah, I seriously did some deadly hammer guys. Okay, so the next one I think was at Brightstone Cove, Shady Ruins. They were at the the guy was over there near the bottom, I think. Just trying to get this kind of like covenant ranked up, and I think we'll have to we'll uh, have to go for a boss probably next episode because he's a beast to kill. Uh, might be able to get this covenant done though. So let's go, Shady Ruins, Shady Woods. Run past this guy. I think if you stink this wood, he doesn't cling onto you. That's right. That's good news for me because I hate those ghost guys. They are so bloody annoying. And curse pots as well, for that matter. Okay, so I don't know if I should just run or I should just try and kill these guys. Okay, screw it. I'm going to try and kill this guy because I freaking hate this guy. Uh, let's try and get this guy. Uh, yeah, I can. Because the problem is, rapiers just don't hit anything if you're not locking off. That's the problem. Uh, or saying that, I'm actually hitting this guy. Uh, just get some stagger damage on. Oh, wow. Check that out for some, like a three hit combo. Poison kicking ass with that one. Okay, so let's run this way. Then through this and then drop down this whole thingy and break my legs in the process. Uh, yep. So we drop down here. Here's the number two place. Where are you at, my friend? There you're at. Let's talk to you. Nah, yeah. And why not give him effigy? Nice what the hell not? Beef. Give himself a human effigy. Pray to his nah. face. And here we go. The place is May opened up. So I'm a little bit scared. Number two, good to go. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm going to pop a large jump on and get through. Got some poison arrows though. Hopefully no more of those like massive ass hammer guys because they like wreck you. Uh, I suppose I couldn't. I'm quite surprised I can actually like stun them through the roll actually because normally they would be able to just hit me through it. Let's just pop it to life gem. That's another thing I should have already bought. Life gems. <laughs> should have spent my 580,000 souls or whatever I had on life gems. That would have been the best thing to do. <laughs> okay, so got to remember to find a torch thingy to light and try and find out which way to go. So we are this way. And uh, what's coming up here? We got a blood stain, and then that looks like a bloody drop. It does indeed, my god. Wow, man. Okay, what's this sign say? Hurrah for cave. Okay. <laughs> so let's draw my bow out once again and see if we can get a cheek shot. There's a guy up there. I'm going to go cheek shot on this guy. Bam. Why the hell not? See if I can get poison damage on. That's the good thing about it. I can just get the bow straight off the bat. Or maybe not. Or maybe not again. Damn it, midnight. Fire this poison bow thingy. For some reason, I can't fire this thing. Oh, god. Wow. Probably a little bit panicky, that's what it is. Okay. Oh god. Let me just get some stagger damage on this bitch ass. Fire that poison back bow. Yep. Okay, he's poisoned. He's poisoned. Roll it away, midnight. Okay, here we go. Let's get for some lock on. Firing. So he's guy with the bow. He looks like quite similar to me. He's got like a hunter's hat on. I'm actually killing like my own character. <laughs> it's quite a weird thing. But hasn't got much health though. It just shows you how much health I've got. And this guy's gonna die of poison, hopefully. Uh, yeah, he is indeed. Okay, we've got another guy coming in. Let's pop a... Alright, Estus. Not doing too bad so far. These bows just some serious work. Oh, there's another item dropped as well there. Oh, tree beard guy again. Let me just see if I can get some poison arrow on this guy. Yep, you're poisoned. Wow, what the fuck happened then? No idea. Some kind of like Miracle Chris Cassie thingy. Poison him, please. Thank you. Yeah, we got him with the poison. Sweet, so he's down. Nope, you healed. You healed, my friend. Well, you ain't gonna heal this. You ain't gonna heal fucking rapiers, are you? Oh, really? You're going to come after me now? Oh, come on, man. Give me a break. No, he healed. He healed after he died. What the fuck ever. Okay. So, we have to go with the daggers. And let's go some double combo stabby thing. He's going to love doing that. Just get that four hit combo. Can I push this guy off? That'd be great. Push him off. Push him off. Push him off. Yeah, we got him off. Sweet. The other guy bites the dust or bites the fucking ground. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so, we've actually got two bonfire aesthetics. Wow, man. This is freaking awesome. We're getting a lot of bonfire aesthetics from this place. Good little farm for them. Here we go. There's that torch base. That's cool. We found that already. So let me just get myself a flame butterfly right out of the bat. Where are you at? Flame butterfly -y thingy? Uh, they are way far away. I've got so many items. And then... I freaking know I've lost them. There we go. 24 still to you. Bam! I'm torching my hand, baby. And let's light this thing up. That wasn't too bad. We she killed three guys straight off the bat. Uh, they kind of like brushed you as well at the start. And one of them looked very similar to me. Oh, God. With like Hunter's hat on. Like quite similar to the one I've got rocking. And what's this thing up here? A pull lever. Why the hell not? Don't think that should do something too bad. Okay, touch pull of blood. What the hell are these guys doing? Are these guys all running off the freaking edge? <laughs> yep, they are. Wow, what the hell did they get knocked off by? <laughs> Man, okay, so let's go up here. Got my little pressure plate thingy. Looking pretty cool at the moment. That rapier as well. It looks quite cool with like, this little like, handle thing on it. Uh, compared to my normal one as well. So here we go. I'm back in this area. There's a guy chilling out there. I'm just going to pop him with a bow, I think. Pop an Estus, why the hell not? 
And let's see if I can just get this guy out of my face. So, rapier, sorry, rapier, arrow. So I get four shots on him, he's poisoned. Four poison arrow shots. And I'm not even wearing the poison ring as well, just to get a bit more damage on. So where's this guy going? This guy's with two daggers. I'm going to go for some in mid motion jumpy thing in the face thingy. That was pretty awesome there. And look at that poison damage stacking up, man. That's like 15 points every second. Or even more than 15 points. I can't actually see because my math sucks and I'm trying to kill this thing at the same time. <laughs> so let me kill this guy. That was pretty easy. Kill there, my friend. You went that bad. Uh, and then there we go. Where was it? This way? Through here, right? And then maybe this way. Just got to keep an eye out for more guys. Oh, there's the fog wall. So I got through the second area already. Wow, that wasn't too bad. Jobs are good and on that one. Get in. So that's the second covenant done. Second rank. I'm not sure what I got. I got resident soul for the first one. Uh, these Espada Repair as well, doing some good work with that and definitely spending all my souls definitely helped. Got some more levels, that's for sure. Yeah. So, did I actually talk to him or no? I don't actually level up to level two, fair enough. Then I have to probably have to do another one first. The dark. Thank you very much, my friend. Sweet, so I think I'm done then, guys. So, I might need to end the episode and we'll hit the third one hopefully in the next one. So, thank you very much for watching. And if you did indeed enjoy, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.